Hey guys, this is Garius again and welcome to another episode of Survival Overdone. I'm not sure if you guys will notice it, but something's has changed. I finally put in a time and effort to finally modify the texture pack as I liked it previously. Um, I've been using the John Smith texture pack, well always, and I've changed a few blocks here and there. And I finally did it again. I got a mixture. There's one guy. That I think I did mention it earlier. Let me just quickly get the correct name for you. I, I think it's something like Jim something craft. Um, I just can't find the exact name now. It's J J E C. That's a texture pack. So he made a lot of textures the way I liked it. So I used this one, his texture pack until now. But I there still was still a few that I did not like. So I went and um, found all the. Once I liked, um, some were in the John Smith texture pack already as alternatives. So for one, the glowstone. I did not like that it already looked like a, a redstone lamp. And for one, the colors changed from the vanilla. I'm not sure if this is closer to vanilla. The andesite, diorite, and granite. And the other thing that I hated actually was the enchanting table so this one looks normal now and this now also gives you more reason to go with the redstone lamps uh, and some of the um, textures have changed since we last used it obviously as, as I changed the texture pack so this is my modified version of John Smith's pack and so and the gravel is John Smith's it was usually a different one I used, but I can't remember what it was. I also got a different obsidian one. I did not like the black obsidian. Vanilla Minecraft, it's a purplish. So I modified that as well. That is my own creation. And so I think that's standard. That's standard as it was before. That's standard. Gravel. The... I think this is andesite. I'm not sure. I can't remember now. But in any case, um, because of the uh, colors change, everything looks different now. So, and also I changed a few of the solid blocks. Um, I manually edited it, it in um, GIMP, the freeware graphic manipulator program. Um, for one, the gold block was not like the others. Um, if you went to your iron blocks, let me quickly show you iron, diamond, and gold, and redstone. Oh, and lapis. There's a block of that as well. So the reds, not the redstone, the lapis and the gold block were totally different. So you see it as a. a no, let's just create it. So that I can show you guys properly what I mean. Okay, so this is the normal block you got of iron and emerald and diamond. Uh, did I say diamond? Any case. So gold was a different one between the Jim Craft texture pack. Jim's I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just gonna call it JSC. Credit goes to him for that part. So just mentioning that. So gold I changed back to this. I took the pressure plate and I made it the gold block. Because the pressure plate was different for me, and I made the pressure plates different now. So that is a pressure plate. Uh, I know you can't properly see, but I changed it because 
it was the pressure plates look exactly like this and I didn't want it to look like that and then the redstone was also different much different oh it didn't have a, a boundary so I took a, I think the iron one and I cut out the iron part I cut the redstone part and I put it in an iron one and I saved it with a boundary and I used that same exact outline and the blue one that's the and basically the same thing with the blue one I put the boundary on so or but not the blue one the lapis one so this is how the blocks look and I like these ones much more okay so um, that is just a quick up oh no not quick that's quite a lot of <laughs> time sorry guys I just wanted to to give you guys part of my excitement for the new textures or that I finally got time to modify the textures so yes um we did in the last episode I quickly just want to put away these emerald I don't have enough emerald to show you the emerald block unfortunately um, and we have a lot of redstone from the mining that we did in the previous episode so speaking of that um, I was thinking I didn't mention it in a previous episode guys I was saying that the mining the two le le levels we were mining at the top layer did not produce diamonds I think I found one diamond but it in any case came down so that's why you will see in a previous episode I showed you guys when I showed you the mine mining mine shaft as we did it's only at the bottom and I'm going up one higher so that if it's higher that we can still touch the diamonds hopefully so but as I've mined this side of this lava ravine the I did I found most of the diamonds at the bottom so I just wanted to put that there and since we also all the um, nice mining we did with all the iron I think we're gonna switch now from stone age to iron age and then we can mine a little bit faster and so on and also I did show you guys the update on the the mob spawner or XP farm I put the switch here at the outside so this is now also working I just brought the redstone up to this block and it's working so now you don't have to have this awkward position to switch it on and off so this works much better just wanted to show you guys that and also I was thinking that I am going to do that as what I said I'm not gonna do I'm going to try the nether portal on that sand part the the, the um, underwater temple I keep falling over my words these days sorry about that guys and um, it's almost dark out again so I'm gonna sleep in a sec and then I'm gonna go get the coordinates and then we I'll prepare the all the way in the nether and I'll bring you guys in when I link the portals again oh and I must get obsidian oh lovely how many obsidian do I have left? only four so and um, also I just want to mention in a previous episode it was quite late so if I sound a little bit tired it, it's because I was a little bit tired so yes let me continue this side and I will see you in a sec again just bringing you guys quick in quickly I just wanted to show you this nice purple obsidian that we have now and when I start breaking it I saw another update I quickly wanted to show you guys if you break now there is a different texture as well so it's a nice um, breaking texture not a thump texture like the previous one so I like this one <clears throat> much more as well so just wanted to show you guys that I'm busy farming the obsidian as you can see here you can also see now the breaking texture in that black obsidian you couldn't see the breaking effect now you can see it, that at least so that is awesome so in any case just wanted to bring you guys in for that and also uh, what I was thinking while, obsid while getting the obsidian the reason why I'm making a 3x3 free free portal that I said in a previous episode I like the 3x3 free free portals is if and when you get horses you can still sit on a horse while you go through a portal which, which you can't do with a, a 2-1 or something like that oh actually a 2 by 3 
three high you can but I like the space more of a three three by three so just a quick update so I'm gonna finish this obsidian and finish the portal track or portal hallway and then I will see you after that okay I'm quickly here by the sand or the underwater temple on this area I got this coordinates so this is minus 685 and minus 250 so let's quickly get a calculator where is my calculator sorry just quickly looking for it okay so it's you don't um, use a minus so you just use 685 divided by 8 that is 85.6 so let's round up it's 86 so it's minus 86 now we put the minus back and it's positive 250 divided by 8 is 31.25 so I think we can round down on that one so it's 31 so this is where we want the portal to be I didn't bring a flint and steel oh goodness so we're gonna run out all the way here again so but okay yes so that is the coordinates I'm gonna go back to base just want to put the torch here that we know where it is actually no um oh and we can check with facing let's quickly see with facing towards the towards positive Z so we're going to do this. I already got ourselves a new sword, so that is awesome. Two, one, two, three, three, and one, two, three. And then we can break this one. Okay, flint and steel. I don't have steel with me. So I'm guessing I'm going to run back here because I want to come from a nether to here. So I'm going to go get a flint and steel, come light it, and then I'm, I will see you guys in the nether again. I just actually thought of something that while I was coming back here. I took a boat. It's much faster <laughs> over all these distances. So I want to light up this one. Just want to make sure. 185 to 50. Yes. Whoops. Wrong place. There we go. I... The nether portal I'm going to make, I'm going to try and make it temporarily, not make it too big a deal in the nether. Because once we have that place dug out, I want to move this portal over there. So that we can get um, quicker between, between there and the main base. So I will see you in the nether again. Okay, we are back in the nether. And... The first thing you'll see is the nether rack <laughs> looks different as well. So it's uh, more of a red, not that weird thing that we had previously. So this is the spot, minus 85, oh no, one over. So this is the spot. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna kill this one. Oh, and the obsidian is at the portal room. Not a problem. Let's quickly do this. I had, oh, and I did something wrong. I'll show you when I'm outside again. So why I enclose everything, guys, is because of the ghosts. I hate them. <laughs> Sorry for my stupid buds. I sometimes get a urge to do that <laughs> like in the previous episode I said the cost is costly <laughs> so I uh, just ignore that one okay so what I did is I worked out the um, distance I'm gonna quickly show you in in my main hall and this was 31 and I thought okay we'll put the portal on this wall down the line but then I realized um, we need to look at negative Z. So um, that's why the the small goes to the side. And I only made it a small because 
of a temporary because of that portal that's temporary so let me just quickly grab the city and I'll be right back also because of it because of its being temporary I haven't taken out the nether rack as in the other one actually I shouldn't make it free <laughs> by free but it does matter so let's see if this works out okay so we will pop out facing the bait basically so let's see hopefully this works yes okay so that means they really updated something that fixes this so this is gonna be much faster guys okay greatness great 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 so another portal done so I'm gonna head back to main base but I'm using my portal system and this is enough of portals we did portals in a previous time I was just thinking let's show you guys more of a process of the coordinates but I was thinking let's do the slime farm that I wanted to or what I showed you in a previous episode because we're gonna start using sticky pistons soon and we need um, the slimes for that slime balls for that and also the slime blocks I believe and I think just after I left Minecraft the previous round slime blocks started being useful I'm not sure what that why I think it seems like it's sticking to blocks now so we will definitely test that one out soon so I'm gonna pause here and I will meet you at the slime I'll, I'll prepare first of um, some stuff and then I'll meet you at the slime farm or the future slime farm. Okay, I've just popped in some glass, for, um, sand for glass. So we'll get some glass at least for our project. But I was thinking now, I think I did my planning a bit wrong. Because it, as it stands now, this whole area is the spawn area up until this line. So somehow we should still be able to farm the slimes so I was thinking maybe we should make some sort of collection point somewhere <laughs> I'm not sure where but before we clear out this part I think we must do the collection point so this part is mute or oh, not necessary because um, from the side that we will be able to view it I'm not sure, we, maybe we can view it from this side and maybe make a collection point this side, yes. Because then we have a whole wall of glass that we can see the spawning pad, basically. And all the way around, the slime will be able to spawn. Um, yes, I think that will work. Yes, okay, so first things first so if this is a level let's see what is halfway so it's one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so we have actually a halfway point how is that possible isn't the chunk 16 by 16 well either way i'm going to use this as a halfway point so um we must make preparations for a three by three slime or the large slimes unfortunately i don't like those ones if we can maybe make it to some way that they can be killed automatically okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the major part offline but i'm gonna explain what i'm gonna do on cam that is so I'll make a water channel basically like this so the water will run to here and drop the slime here so we'll just put fences or um, signs so that the water don't pass here and they drop it here but this will obviously be a lot lower because this is only one level so because the water won't flow now here now so now we have to go down another level this side
And then we once we did that, we can take out this one. How many is it? It's more seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I actually think it will be right at, at the boundary. Okay, also we have an issue with this side actually. Okay, no, it's be three. So another one here. So we'll put signs up here. So this water will flow from this side straight that way. The slime will drop and go here. But again, we are not covered on this side. So we'll make another channel here. So it will be step, 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 step. And on the middle on this side will be the highest point. So, but there will also be a three by three hole. It will be, I think we should make it two down maybe. So that the slimes can't jump back up again. So the slimes will wander on this pad. And they will wander, wander until they jump into the water. And then the water from both sides will take it to the middle, which is there. And our access to the slime from will be in here. So the glass will come here, up to here and up to here. And then our entrance will be here. And it will, oh, and we found gold. Great. And... This will be glass, so we will run alongside this and go down, have an access place to go down to where we collect the slimes. I was thinking, we have some interesting tools available now, which we didn't have available back when I played Minecraft previously. Let me quickly sleep. We must still get a roof for this place. <laughs> uh, these things, they burn. So they probably burn mobs as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that and put it in the middle. Or we, we, must, we might as well just go um, get more of them. I must actually test if they destroy items. They're not supposed to. And then I put that magma block in the middle. And then when the slime falls onto here, it will get killed. And when we put four hoppers, or just we can make two rows of hoppers to a chest over here. And when we can collect slimes, slime balls from there. I think that will be a nice way of doing that. So yes, let me continue that. I'll do that off cam and then I'll meet you guys back here when all is done. When oh, my, most of the... Um, mining and breaking and so forth is done so i'll see you in a bit i've been actually such an idiot guys um <laughs> we don't need to have steps remember that trick i showed you when we did the elevator water elevator that's the only thing we need in this instant instance we don't need to have all those steps and taking it lower because we're already at level 18 just here so if we do steps down and down and down it's not necessarily because we already have this 3 by 3 by 3 cube that the slimes will fall down and kill so in between those hoppers we will have those magma blocks and these hoppers go into the chest they go into each other and into the chest so at the end we can get all the slimes and here will be a glass and we will be able to hit some of the slimes as well maybe for a little bit of xp i'm not sure because we have a nice xp farm now um everything below this line i've made with smooth stone so that we don't have to get down later so on the sides i haven't focused on the smooth stone yet and i have not focused on our all the way behind the glass here yet we will do that later but i'm still gonna do in this episode i'm gonna clear the spawning floor but i want to make it nice i want to put um some glowstone at the corners and so on but we'll see how that one turns out so what i was saying about being an idiot we can just do this and it will make a proper line this way so 
Now we need to um, how are we going to do the corners? I think we should just keep to this, right? And then we can put the next two. So at least the slimes do still move, so they should move into this water and continue this way. So I'm going to be hopeful and say that's what's going to happen. So, but we can still see, and also the slimes spawn at any light level, guys, so just keep that in mind. So that's why I have not cleared that yet. Okay, so this is not enough. Let's grab more signs. I'm going a bit further in because of we have enough space to do this side. Okay, so this is basically what's going to happen. I'm going to space it out more. Just give me a second so that I can check out the spacing properly. I'm, why I want to pause the video is because I think we're running out of time now. So I don't want to have another 15 minute video again. So uh, give, just give me a second and we'll be right back. Okay, I think we are good now. I decided to indeed go with the way that we did it before. So, but um, we can't do it over here because I don't think the water will properly turn the bend. I'm not sure, but well, we, if we see lots of things get stuck there, we can always just um, change it up. So it's not an issue. So this one is easier. So you just put the water here. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Ooh, either that. Okay, so what we can do if in that case we do this. Put the block there, drop block there. Okay, now it created a, a um, <coughs> excuse me, an infinite water source in the middle. And it should flow properly now. Yes, great stuff. Okay, but before that, <laughs> we should get some water at the back. While we have... I'm not going to bother with the infinite water source there. So we have that one and that one. So let's quickly grab some more water. Since now we have a source. Okay, I have took away this um, science here, guys. Because um, it's in the middle, so it will push it away. Correctly, so let's see if this one takes us, takes us, and it pushes us. Great stuff. That's exactly what we are looking for. Okay, and then it's coming here. Grab this. Grab that one, and put another water source there. Let's see what happens if we take this one. Oh yes, it replenishes because. We have that one. Okay, so we're not going to do this one again. So only this one and this one. Okay, and the same is going to happen here. Putting that one there. Oh no, it must push. So that's why it's good to have that there. And this one. It's going to be... I just want to get up here so that I... It's easier to make sure I place it at the correct place. And now everything we should fall up. I can't run <laughs> in water. Luckily, I put this ladder here. So this is basically how it looks, guys. They're gonna jump off of the edge and fall in here, and it's get getting pushed into the middle. So I'm just quickly gonna do this side. Then I'm gonna start clearing out this area, and then I will bring you guys back in again. Okay, guys, I have cleared out the whole area, but it's a bit disconcerting, disconcerting, because in the whole time I've been here, the no slime has spawned. And according to the to Google that I found on the wiki, is that slimes will spawn in any light level below level thirty nine. 
in their respective slime chunk slime chunk and according to what I can see this is a slime chunk so I'm not sure maybe I should quickly go check a different slime chunk finder quickly on Google um, because this is not right I'm gonna make it a bit dark but I'm afraid of skeletons and stuff spawning let's just make it a little bit brighter just in case but that one is the wrong one there and there I think nope Ah, my math is wrong. <laughs> okay, these two are in the middle. These two are in the middle. I think this one is on top. Hey, I'm wasting so much time. Okay, let me quickly check. I'm gonna stand to the offside. Seeing if anything does spawn. I'm not going to put the lava or magma blocks in yet. I want to make sure that the things spawn so that I can see them down there, basically. That is why I don't want to, <coughs> excuse me, let them die yet. So then we don't, oh, well, we can just, might as well just go check the chests. But that's what I want to do. So I'm going to stand here for a bit while I Google and check what we can do. So let me quickly get my seed out. And I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, no, I've checked three different chunk finders, and also I saw a program amidst um, A M I D S T. Actually, it's a very nice program, <laughs> but it spoils, I think, a lot of things because it shows you exactly where all the items is in the world. So, for you guys that want to try that out, but since I've been looking, I. I think it's about 15 minutes or so none spawn so I was I'm thinking let's move a little bit further away maybe that's the issue so I'm gonna go upstairs and wait about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna double check uh, spawning mechanics of of the slimes and I will oh and it's dark so that's good so we can sleep and when once I'm back I'll let you guys know what's going on going on uh, great news guys, while I was looking at the other screen for the information, a slime spawned. I, the only change, I took away some of the torches, which still makes it weird for me, because I checked on a... And it works, great. On the official minecraft.gamepedia.com forward slash slime, <clears throat> Excuse me, under spawn it says levels 0 through 90, 39, which we are clearly on level 22, and any light level, specific, in specific chunks, any light level, or swamp biome on level 51 through 69, light level less than 7. So it seems to me. It will only spawn in the dark. Or maybe I was just... I'm not sure. I can't remember how the spawning works for these guys. Well, at least we know we have success. So now let's see. Oh, I'm full. If we put this here. If we will... Oh, it's getting hurt. Great. And the problem with that is, <laughs> if it breaks some bit smaller parts, we're going to get hurt. Okay, now the small ones. Great. Let's see. And we've done it, guys. We have a slime farm. I'm so glad. <laughs> okay, so this works. Okay, except if they get stuck there. I wonder if they can hurt us. 
and that those ones get hurt quite fast. So, uh, wrong one. Well, I'm glad this works because I was almost thinking we did everything for nothing, and that would not have been funny, guys. So yes, that is a uh, a, a successful slime farm guys so it's very basic I'm gonna spruce it up I'm gonna put um, lights in the roof and put some grass maybe because the slime is green maybe that will fit why not okay so but in any case I'll do that off cam I'll make pretty it up I'll get rid of all the cobblestone and everything and take away the axis straight through so I will only have a behind the roof behind the scenes axis basically and yes, thank you for joining me guys, I know there were a lot of nitty gritty things, unnecessary things, but we got an episode and we got a slime farm, which is awesome. Once again, thanks for coming to join me guys, please subscribe, please leave a like, and your comments is highly appreciated. And please check in the description all information regarding my website and other social media links. And then I will see you on the next one. Cheers! Thank you.